So we just got word that we are not going to be running the practice engine because it's, it's most likely not going to be a practice for us. So you know what that means? We are going to be changing out the practice engine. But anyways, welcome back to another Cold Grass with Racing YouTube video or Facebook video, I guess. And uh, I got to start getting the front fenders off, see how good I can get at that. And uh, we're going to start ripping out this engine and putting in the race engine. But before we do that, I just figured I'd give a little context. So last year we were ten we were planning on practicing a lot. Well, we were this year too, but as you can see, it's raining outside. Uh, so our new plan is just to put our race engine, which is our uh, our good engine, I guess you could say, in the car. And uh, pull this one back out and put her back on the shelf for a while. But anyways, let's get into that. I'm going to start ripping apart the front fenders and ultimately just start pulling this thing out until my, my dad gets home with all the parts. Here we go. So I just got all the front end pieces off and they're all sitting back over in the corner over there. And as you see we just got the we got the race engine all unloaded. My dad is not home. So we are going to start pulling this thing out. We're not going to be pulling it apart, we're just going to be pulling it out. So that is uh, going to be helpful and save some time. But uh, dad's done this lots of times. But it's still probably going to take a while as just changing engines does. And uh, we're kind of in a small confined space since it is raining and not very nice out. Uh, but yeah, let's cut uh, uh, us getting that out. So we just got the radiator and everything all pulled out uh, and just drained all the water as you see me push it out out of the garage so that the floor didn't get all wet. But it uh, turns out everything else got really wet because it's all it's raining outside and gross. But now I kind of got to do an unexpected step and uh, wipe everything down and blow it all off before we can get the motor out and uh, start getting the other one in. But uh, Dad figures we should be able to get this one out and the other one in tonight. Maybe not running, but uh, at least get it in. So that's kind of our goal, and uh, we're ready to start working towards it. But let's get to pulling this thing out. All right, so we just got the engine all out here. It looks just like it did at the end of the season last year, but uh, we got the practice engine sitting right there and Dad's ripping the plastic off of the, the race engine. So, uh, how long do you think it's gonna take us to put this in? A couple hours. A couple hours to put this thing in and then we uh, should be ready to, ready to go. But let's get to putting this thing in.
So it is now the next day and it is still raining out there. Today was actually supposed to be our second day in the car racing, uh, but that didn't go very far as uh, it got canceled last night and today. And uh, we kind of already started making some progress. We got the carburetor on and um, starting to get some of the front assembly stuff all done. And I had a teacher one time and we did this thing called Motor Club, a few of me and my buddies. And he always said that there's three things you need to work on engines. One is rock music, which we got listening, or we're listening to, pizza, and engines themselves. So, you know who you are. Thank you. Anyways, we're going to continue tinkering here and hopefully get this done soon. So that's going to wrap up this video of us putting in the race engine and uh, special thanks to Schaefer Oils for giving us the oil to uh, running this thing this year. Uh, obviously we're, the, we're not going to run the same oil all year. We're going to change it every few nights but uh, Schaefer's going to be supplying us with that so we're thankful for that. But uh, she was loud, louder than last year anyways. and. Uh, we're looking forward to getting out on the track. Hopefully we can get our stickers back soon and uh, put them on the race car. Uh, but for now, this is all we got. I apologize for not posting this for a while as we have been super busy out here and uh, school is getting towards the end of the year so we're kind of getting more and more busy with that as well. So uh, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching and a boom, 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 out go the lights. Mm -hmm.